Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, in Venus for the month of December. So I said Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. That means if you have any of those, uh, if that is in your chart, okay? If, that, if Capricorn is in Venus in your chart, Capricorn Moon, you know what I mean. Some people don't know, but anyhow. Um, and then again, this reading may or may not be for you. So we get people that say things underneath that don't get it. You know, anybody that writes a stupid comment, there's a, obviously the reading wasn't for you. So, anyhow, let's see what we got. What do we got for Capricorn? At any time in December, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid. You know, sometimes these readings resonate six months later. I'm just saying, it's the truth. Divine timing is real. Plus, we're all at different stages in our journey. So, let's see. What do we got for Capricorn? Ten of Cups. This is happiness. This is very comfortable at home. So, this is happy relationship. This is peace. This is happy holidays. I mean, it really is. This is this is happiness. This is very comfortable in your own home. Very comfortable in a relationship. Some of you, perhaps, we got to see what the rest of the cards are. But it's warm. Uh, it's like you have everything you need here. It's beautiful. I mean, this is beautiful to start out with. Capricorn. So you got the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups. I'm not sure it could get much better. I mean, this is this is a wish. This is a wish. Wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. I mean, this is this is real extreme happiness. So this is permanent love. You may be in a permanent love situation where you are being extremely satisfied. Okay, this is extreme satisfaction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It really is. This is very emotionally fulfilling. It's like having it all. This is literally, you. Ha this is having it all. Happy home. I feel a sneeze brewing, just so you know. I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm just going to lay out these cards and see what happens. You could be dealing with a water sign or an air sign. We have quite a bit of water here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is tender. This person is loving. You could have an ex-wife or an ex... Uh, this is an ex. That is a bitch. So you may have a choice between two. Just saying. Um, this, and now this could be male or female. It's like we have, we have bitterness versus tender love and care. So we have hate versus love. So, you know, I think that you are probably, you could be dropping this negative energy, this negative person, because this is dropping, dropping something, a uh, unrequited love situation. Now, this could be a, a ugly stepmother, a wicked stepmother. This is a stepmother type of energy. Somebody that is malicious. But this is dropping it. So that somebody is being dropped and this is an energy of hate, jealousy. <laughs> now, the high priestess, this is unaware, unaware of something. There's no working together, perhaps, with... I feel like you... Because this is no working together. There's there's no growth. This season is over. I, there may be one relationship that is completely over. Because this is going here, this way, and this is going this way. And you're going to find wish fulfillment with somebody that is more emotionally available. 
So it, it feels like there 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 is a change at home because this is relocation. There's nothing. There's no growth here. There's no communication. It's the end of communication. There's no collaboration. There's no compromise. There's no more working together. You may be choosing to work with somebody else that is more emotionally available. That's what it looks like to me. You may have somebody coming in because before I started this reading and I was concentrating on you, I saw the two of cups and the knight of cups. And then we got these two cards and I was like, wow. So this really is about a new relationship. But I also feel like there's a choice. There's a choice. I think there's a choice between two. This is dropping one, you're dropping a negative Nelly, a negative a bitchy individual who is very hard to love for somebody that is lovable. And if it's not you, it's somebody in your family. You may be watching this go on. This could be something that you are on the outskirts and you are directly involved in. Somebody was seduced by somebody that was very secretive and had hidden agendas. And they may have went down that path and tried to have a relationship with that person and found out that there's no <laughs> growth there. There's there's no... They made the wrong choice. They invested in the wrong thing. Whatever the case is, this is... Somebody had their heart set on an individual that was literally emotionally unavailable. But I think that's over. I think cause this is a completion. Tens are completions. I got it. So somebody is completing a relationship and start, or they already have completed it. And now we have a, a dream come true here. This is a dream come true. This is extreme happiness. After one relationship completes, because this is a completion with somebody that was very secretive. There may be a child involved because this is a child. Somebody may have been using a child as a tool. But this is making a conscious change. That is the meaning of the Ten of Wands. And it's another ten, ten of Wands reversed. Another Ten. So somebody is changing their direction. They are. There is somebody here that is very, very lovable. That has a lot of love to offer. That is not nasty like the other one. We have a very nasty individual here that you may have been in the relation relationship with in the past, and it, it could be anybody. It doesn't. It could be a male or a female, but this person is very bitter and cold, hard to love. But I think that person is being dropped. Judgment call, and look at this: two tens. Okay, so we this is completion, 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 completion. We do have a completion. This is absolution. Judgment day is absolution. It's rising. It's rising from the ashes. It's rising above a situation. It's a card of forgiveness. It's a card of resurrection. It's a card of renewal. It's a card of rejoicing and release. So this is releasing, forgiving, moving on to something more emotionally fulfilling. You got, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. I see a lot of water here. But this is, 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 this is an awakening as well. Waking up, waking up about whoever it is that you were dealing with, your ex. This is an ex. The, the queen of swords symbolizes an ex. The queen of wands symbolizes another woman or another man or another person, the other, the side person. So I feel as though we have an ex here. We have an ex that has been, um, it's like the energy needed to be removed or it needed to be, there needed to be, there needed to be forgiveness or there needed to be closure because tens are completions. And I feel like that cycle is done and there's some, this is acceptance. So it's acceptance that it's over. And I just really feel like there's an offer of love that could make you very, 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 very happy this month. Extremely happy. It's like, it's an awakening. It's, 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 it's seriously, this is, there is something that is going to be revealed to you that is going to wake you up. Okay. It's going to wake you up. It's going to, it's going to make you feel alive again. I think it's a new love. I think, and I think this new love is, 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 uh, somebody that you will probably have a very deep soul bond with. Put it that way. You may have even known this person before. 
Maybe you knew this person when you were a child. You know, maybe uh, you have a past life connection with this person. I think there is a past life connection here. I also feel like there is somebody from the other side. Because this is somebody from the other side that is guiding this release. This is a release. This is dropping dead weight, dropping baggage, making a conscious change to break free from this ex, whoever this ex is. So, and I think that, be, and maybe you've already made that change. Some of you are still going through it, but because you make that change, I feel as, I mean, this is a blessing as well. So I feel like there is somebody from the other side that is guiding, bringing two people together. This is definitely about love after something didn't grow, after a relationship didn't grow. It didn't grow for a reason because it's like this is your soulmate, whatever. And I don't say soulmate very often. So I feel like there's a new soulmate connection here. And that's why there was no real teamwork with the other relationship. That's why it didn't work out because it wasn't meant. It was only meant to come into your life for a season to teach you something. Maybe it had to, it had to teach you something about awareness, following your intuition. Maybe your gut told you from the beginning that this wasn't right and you went down that road and you didn't listen. Maybe now in the future you'll start listening to your intuition. So... I feel as though somebody had their heart set on somebody that well, they weren't meant to be with for a long period of time. And maybe it was seven years. Maybe it was a seven-year period. Maybe, it, you know, eight-year period, something like that. Um, maybe it was nine years. Maybe it was ten years. I don't know. But it feels like... Um, that season is over. That story is over for good. And it's like it's now you're in a place of, you know... having it all oh my goodness now how do we what do we say about that doesn't look good does it <laughs> it does not look good um that's falling down falling over there's a crash of some sort there's gonna be something is going to happen okay and you're no longer gonna be working with somebody somebody is is going to hit the ground or something like that. It's like the chip is definitely going to be knocked off their shoulder. Something is going to, uh, well, what's that look like? It doesn't look good. This is not good. Um, <laughs> well, interesting. Hmm. King of Pentacles. That could be you. Could be somebody that's coming in. Could be this is stability. Regaining stability. You noticed how I picked it right up after being down, getting back up, and this is rising back up. Regaining stability. After hitting the ground, after falling down, perhaps you're gonna be regaining stability. Stability that was lost because somebody made the wrong judgment call. They went down the wrong path. Anyway, Capricorn, I think you have a new relationship here. It's it's somebody that you have a deep soul connection with. Um, and I think it's pretty surprising. I think this person is going to help you to regain your stability. To rise back up from this situation that knocked you down that brought you down I think I see that you've been brought down but I think that you probably have a new a new partner here that can help you that can give you the emotional support that can give you the tender love and care that you were lacking with this ex so anyway I think there's there's like a reconciliation with somebody that you have known before and you have been or you are being brought together with this person from somebody that has already passed away it's like and it maybe it's a child that has passed away or an ex that has passed away or a family member or a mother or a father or something this is this is somebody that is trying to get somebody to forgive and release and accept there's a reason for this. There is a reason for this. So anyway, um, but we have somebody here that is refusing to listen with the high priestess reverse. This is somebody who won't listen. 
and hasn't listened. And maybe that's the lesson here. So things are about to change for the better. This is good luck. This is changing for the better. Now, this is your reason. This is your purpose. Whatever is happening, when you get the wheel of fortune, whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. Let me just remind you that this is another 10. Tens are major completions. A cycle of your life is over. That season is over. You are, you are going, you are traveling. You are, you are moving to a new, a new place. Okay. You're moving to a new destination. This is traveling to a new destination. You are destined to, to start a new cycle. That old cycle is over. It was a seven year cycle by the looks of things. Could have been a 14 year cycle. I don't know, but there is a cycle for sure with all these tens that is over. And now you have this big golden opportunity right in your hands to be the leader, to step up to the plate. Uh, you may be even be getting a big gift, a reward, because this is the wheel of fortune. You may. This is also a card of karma, and this is a card of karma. So the karma can go in both ways. We can have bad karma and we can have good karma. So somebody, maybe, you know, whatever, however it goes for you, there's karma involved this month. So this right here is a change in direction. Things are changing. And this is beginning to realize that there's a better opportunity for love. It's no more crying over the loss. It's no more soaking. It's no more pouting. It's realizing and accepting the new opportunity. It's accepting that it's time to start over. It's accepting that there is a better opportunity. That's what this is. It's the end of the grieving period. This, this grieving period is over. Good, something good is on, is on its way when you get the Wheel of Fortune. This is a lucky break. Consider it a lucky break that this, whatever this X did or whatever this was, consider it a lucky break. It's, it ended for a reason. Consider it that way. So anyway, I feel as though you guys are changing directions for the better and there is a big opportunity for love here. There is. You're about to get some love, Capricorn. And I think it's big love. Okay? This is a blessing. This is an outpouring of love. So you're, you're going to be loved this month. I mean, I've got nothing else to say other than somebody loves you. And this is chance. Give them a chance. I think it's new love. I do. I think it's new love. The ex that brought you down, and that brought you down, drop them. Drop them. And I, I think a lot of you already have. And now you're getting a reward. This is a reward. This is a true blessing. This is big love. This is the love you have always dreamed of. This is it. This is this is it. This is your happily ever after. Give it a chance. I think you've known this person before. I think that you've been with this person in other lifetimes. And it's not the ex. It's the new person. Good luck.